Hello, so this year I've been on a bit of a mission to get the shed cleared out and I've moved a couple of things back into the workshop but really shouldn't be out there. One is this unit I made. It's got my Stanley cases in it. So it's a bit of a pain having to go out of the shed every time you need something. The other thing that was out there was the mitre saw. Because it's out there, I've hardly used it in the last year. So I'm at that dilemma. Do I get rid of it or do I bring it in here and actually use it? Straight away this year, I know I've got one project coming up where I want a mitre saw. So I'm going to give it a go actually using it. And I think I can incorporate these two things together and use this as a mitre saw stand. Now, a couple of years ago, I sort of made a mitre saw stand. It's this bit of 12 mil ply it's bolted to, and that was to go onto one of those folding metal leg stand things. So I'm gonna keep this. The trouble is it's got some bolts sticking out the bottom where it's attached together. It wasn't a problem when it was on the stand, but they've got to go for this. Bolts are out. Now I'm going to get this pushed to the front edge and right up against this end. Now I can use those holes to drill through the actual unit itself. I'm now going to need some longer bolts, so it's handy. I bought this unit in that stores them. I found some longer bolts, so now, well, I can just get this bolted into place. Now, the other component that I had from my saw stand was a wing. In fact, I've got two of them that just go on the side with these kind of slide on brackets. Now this wing is another thing that worked before on the metal stand, but doesn't work on this because they're different heights. But I have, a bit of 12 mil ply that will fit under there and lift it up. So now I think I can actually use the mitre saw to get a bit cut down. All right, this wing come back off and I can get this extra support tacked into place. Right, this can now go back on and oh, that's much better. So this is fully functional now, really, but what I never really had was any stop blocks. I just used to clamp a bit of wood on, but I think I can do better. What I bought is a little bench stop. The idea is this fits into a 19 mil hole and then can be wound in and out. And I think it might work well as a stop block. So I can get a center line drawn on this. This stop has about 10 centimeters of travel on it. So I'm gonna mark out my spacings at around eight centimeters. This is a 19 mil dog in here. So I have a 19 mil arger bit. And I'm just gonna drill down on all those marks I've made.
the dog now fits in the hole with a nice snug fit probably using a little palm router to round over will make it easier to get in the kit comes with a little ratcheting spanner and that just goes onto the back of this bar and you can use it to adjust it Now you can certainly put some markings or a ruler on here as well. I tend to just mark the piece of wood and then adjust my stop to that. I think these dog holes will also give me some work holding options. So when I'm not using this, I can knock this wing off and just put it away to store. This whole unit is on locking casters, so I've had it locked down while I'm using it. But now what I can do is slide the saw forward, lock it in place, lock the head down, and then push it up against the back wall. Now I could use it here, I just don't have much capacity and could get the wing on, and I can just pull it out when I want to use it. Having slid the head of the saw forward to store it, I can get this unit about, yeah, eight centimeters from the wall. So it's not taking up a huge amount of space, which is always the problem with a mitre saw. I think the other advantage of being movable on wheels is no matter how good your mitre saw is, they create quite a lot of dust. So being able to pull it out and clean and sweep behind it is always great. So hopefully having the mitre saw in here is gonna work well for me. I have been missing it. It's just, I didn't want it to take up the space, but if it's just on this unit that was gonna be in here anyway, it's hardly taken up any extra room. And having that wing that I can just put on when I need it with a stop, I think is going to make it very usable. So if you're interested in that kind of bench dog stop thing, I'll put a link to it down below under the video. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.